Okay, so the purpose of this video is to introduce you to the uh, online course called SAG A Day Performers Payroll. So on the left hand side is uh, the line items as we progress down through the course. I have it broken into 12 different parts. Um, the first two lines are, da are data, which we'll look at. Uh, the first one is an embedded web page, and here we have reference material which you can download. Uh, I have summarized payroll rules for SAG day performers. Let's have a quick look at that, just to give you a feel. Uh, so here I've taken the big 722 page SAG codified basic agreement and just picked out the sections in Schedule A that are appropriate to our payroll calculations and uh, it shows the section reference in the codified basic agreement, the title, how it applies, and the notes. All right, and then this second, um, oh, before I leave this embedded web page, I did want to make a point out of the, when you download the big codified basic agreement, this is the agreement we're going to be using uh, throughout the course. It's a big, big agreement, 722 pages. It's important that you get the um, bookmarks on the left hand side. I've taken some trouble here to make sure these bookmarks are working well and uh, when you actually look at it on the internet like this the bookmarks aren't working very good in any of uh, Firefox or Google Chrome or um, Internet Explorer so what you want to do is download it and actually put it on your hard drive and save it with an Adobe uh, Reader and then when you actually see the Adobe Reader, it, um, it is very cool because it shows you the um, bookmarks very clearly here on the left. And if it, you just open it and close the bookmarks with this blue ribbon. All right, you had to know that, so I took the time there. Um, now, the parts. Okay, so now uh, I've broken the parts down into uh, 12 parts. The first one is an introduction to all the different schedules in the, in the SAG CBA, how scale rates work. Uh, the next section is the what is a work day, what is a work week. And then we get right into calculating overtime in, in part three. In part four is uh, we have to know something special about... Uh, ordinary hair makeup and wardrobe removal um, and then we get right into what are rest period violations how they work examples meal penalties how they work examples exhibit G's they're important uh, these are what uh, SAG um, calls an exhibit G it's a production time report prepared by the assistant directors and signed by the cast member we in accounting use these exhibit G's to transcribe the information to a time card in order to calculate the gross payroll. Uh, part 8 is transcribing from the uh, exhibit G. These are videos. Day 1, 2, 3, and 4 of um, one cast member. So he travels and works in there and I'll show you how to do it. Then we actually calculate the overtime, meal penalties, and forced calls. All in that one, one example. And then uh, you need to know a bit about per diems, how they work, how the IRS works. So I've shown a link to the IRS website that tells you what they allow as non-taxable per diem in, in the city that the cast member is working in. Um, and then how it actually fits in the time card as well. Account codes, how they work, how they tie into the budget. So we have a quick look at the chart of accounts for Disney, Warner Brothers, a few of the big guys, just to give you a feel how account codes work. And then some practice. So we have multiple time cards. Um, and we walk you through. Uh, I have the right answer, so to speak. Here's where you get it. You get it from the uh, embedded web page, all the examples. And here I have um, deal points, seven tabs. So there's seven cast on one workbook. We got uh, five days of Exhibit G's, so we got five different pages of Exhibit G's, one Exhibit G for each day. We got seven blank time cards to tie into the seven uh, deal points, seven casts who are going to work, and then the seven uh, completed time cards, which I've done, and you're going to prepare it from the blank and compare it to mine. All right, so that's the very, uh, that's part 11 down here. And finally, in part 12, we have a video of a workflow and I show a flow chart and how the basic workflow works. You'll never really get this until you're working in the business or you have someone on site that you can pull all the forms from. 
but I wanted to give you how it works and here's the forms in the embedded website here that you can download um, at least to give you an idea all right now within each part I have an exam and these are very simple exams just to keep you awake and uh, if you have a passing uh, amount of 70 percent you'll get a certificate when you come out of this final uh, uh, line item so now um, it'll it'll turn up automatically when you tab out of that so here we go um, in the exam let's have a look at this exam uh, it'll say start exam so you start are you sure you want to attempt it yeah um, so I'm going to do this one with you uh, scale rate means the minimum amount payable to the cast member for that particular category yes true right so down here you'll see these little green squares means that it was right let's click on one so when you see here you get feedback and the feedback will tell you any extra data that I want to give you over here in the solution see the scale rate sheet in the download web page um, what we're going to do is we're going to return to course but then you you can go back in and redo this exam and correct that right so don't worry about that you can always go in and re redo it okay so that's the way the exams work all the way down through that's how the course works it's got lots of videos it has over two and a half hours of videos and it's got um, you know 21 recordings so there's lots to do and it's I try and keep it light just like we do would in a live workshop all right thank you